Flash attention, hmm. Is that uh, shaking a flashlight at a GPU to get its attention? Or, hmm, it could be something illegal. Doing a flash to get some attention? I don't know, let's figure that out. And welcome back to the lab, folks. I was just sitting here having some wonderful coffee for that caffeine boost, and it came to my attention that there's a topic on the channel that we haven't covered much, which is flash attention when it comes to running these models locally through Olama, Local AI, LM Studio, or however you're doing it. So let's go ahead and ask someone who's much smarter, Mr. Large Instruct in this case, what is flash attention and what does it do for us? Flash attention is a technique used in large language models to optimize the computation of attention mechanisms, particularly in transformer models. Here's a breakdown of what flash attention is and its effects on context size and VRAM usage. What is flash attention? Flash attention is a method developed to significantly reduce the memory and computational cost associated with the attention mechanism in transformer models. The traditional self-attention mechanism involves computing attention scores for every pair of tokens in a sequence, which can be computationally expensive, especially for large sequences. What in the heck does that mean? What does that mean? For people who don't understand, the best way of putting this is think of it as every word in a sentence shaking hands with every other word. Yeah, that's a lot of handshakes that your model has to do or your hardware has to do in order to work with this context. But flash attention is saying, hold on a second, let's do this smarter. And instead of using the standard approach, it uses a much more efficient matrix operations that avoid all of that unnecessary handshake and overhead. Instead of shaking hands, it's more like everyone is just like, hey, do a group fist bump and boom, you're using less memory and faster calculations. Everyone is happy. You can go read a ton of papers on this from much, much smarter data scientists and people who actually did this. It's been around for quite a while, but people are also forgetting to set this or not using it on their models when they could be actually gaining performance and saving a whole lot of VRAM, or even more importantly, running much, much larger context sizes. So hopefully that covers why you should care about this. Now let's get down to how it really feels or works in the real world. And we'll do some back-to-back -back testing here just to make sure everyone actually understands what's going on. So today, I think we are gonna use Metalama 3.2 3B Instruct at a Q8 level. So we're dropping from that Mistral Large that I was using, as you guys could see over there, for like using 133 gigs down to a very small model the reason why is it'll just make the test much easier, but it'll still show the case. So I want to point out that normally when you're setting up your models, again, however you're doing it, you're normally just setting your F16, maybe your GPU layers to offload everything to your GPUs. So that's what we're going to do is basically just straight out of the box. We are going to be using a 64K context size. Basically, the reason why is we can show a bigger difference, the larger context size, when we're using flash attention. So let's go ahead and that's all set up. Let's drop over to the test bench. Right now, there's a 4070, an A4500, and a 4060 Ti in there. Let's go ahead and use the 4070 just because it's pretty much going to be the fastest of those bunches. So let me set that and cycle the pod so that it only has the 4070. Over here, we'll go make sure that we're watching the right one. And this was device zero. All right, so now we're only looking at that 4070 Ti Super. 
And we're going to go ahead and swap over and use that Metalama 3.23B instruct model. And we're going to say no FA4070. We can see we've only got the 4070 in use. We're going to run our standard 20 test just to let this go ahead and average out. And we'll start that off. We'll pay very close attention to how much memory it is using just straight basically out of the box but fully offloaded to the GPU. The metrics off to the right will lag behind just a little bit while this is running. We can see that it's using about 13,908 megabytes just to keep that down. First one back at about 55 tokens per second. Fifty four tokens per second. Let's kick this into fast forward mode. We'll come back at the last twentieth test and then we'll set flash attention without going to jail and see what kind of difference it makes. And then we'll bring those reports together so we can actually visually see the results from both of these tests. And here is the final test, straight out of the box with no flash attention. Let's see where that go ahead and finishes off at about 48, 49 tokens per second. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Just a note, in the end, it was using 13,936 megabytes on the GPU and 1,213 megabytes on the host memory. Just remember that because we're going to compare that at the end. All right, let's get this set up for the flash attention setting, which means we're going to need to go over and modify the model configuration and set the flash attention value. This is something that even I skip over in the lab sometimes unless I'm running a very large model or trying to use very large context with models. All we need to do is come into the model config, set flash attention to true. I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Remember, depending on how you're or what system you're using, Olama, local AI or LM Studio or anything of that sort, there should be a way to set flash attention. So just go look it up. We're going to go ahead and cycle the pod rename this report let's get the pod cycled here real quick and make sure that it comes back with just the 4070 in it make sure the config set is correct refresh the gpu info yep we're still on the 4070 let's go ahead and change the report name we're going to use the same exact model just with flash attention set to true we're going to run the same 101 token prompt 20 times to get the averages and then we'll bring that report all right in front of us. So let's go ahead and start this test off. Hit send and we can watch it load up and remember we want to compare the memory usage both on the GPU and on the host to see the differences and then we will compare the speed differences also at the end. Loading up and getting there close to 11 gigabytes of VRAM, so almost a three gigabyte VRAM drop. That is pretty impressive. Now this little start and blip, I've seen this with flash attention on, it tends to only happen on the very first request. Not sure what that is, but it only does it on the first request, but that's why we run multiple tests for the averages rather than using the very first one. So that is just cruising right along. First one back at 32. I know it'll go higher just because of that blip I showed you guys. Let's see where the second test lands out at. 56, almost 57 tokens per second. And let's see where it goes from there. And then we'll jump into fast forward mode and come back at the last one. 56 tokens per second still using under 11 gigabytes of VRAM. All right, let's hop into fast forward mode, come back for the last test.
And that was the last test with flash attention on. And it ended at 52, 51 tokens per second in there. Let's go ahead and produce that report. And then we'll make this all much bigger for everyone. Go over to report management and we're going to select both of those. FA 47, no FA 4070. We'll call this flash attention comparing comparison. Hit combine files. Let's hop over and we'll take a look at this report so that you guys can see everything. Bring this up. We'll check our raw uh, data real quick. Just to make sure the tests all ran correctly. Looks like they did. Show the averages down there. Okay, let's shrink that back a little bit so that we can see the whole thing. This is the prompt evaluation time. Since we did not skip that first test, this actually shows you the load time differences rather than a much smaller scale of the prompt evaluation time. So we can see that the flash attention is going to be in blue and the no flash attention straight out of the box is going to be in orange. So we can see that the no flash attention loaded a quick faster, but that's about it. Evaluation time. Again, flash attention on in blue, no flash attention in orange. You can see that the flash attention seems to have skimmed it out just a little bit before that. But nothing hugely noticeable by any means. Total time is going to be both those put together. Prompt tokens evaluate should be 101 across all of our tests. Completion tokens, this is going to mimic the length of the response so we can see that they're basically dead even as they should be. Same model, same everything. Here's the total tokens, which is going to be those two added together. Prompt tokens per second. All right, we can see the no flash attention coming in at about 2,000 prompt tokens per second and the flash attention beating that out at about 2800 it looks like not too shabby not too shabby shows you a big difference there in the prompt token now let's take a look at the evaluation token per second which is what everyone is waiting for again no flash attention straight out of the box in orange and flash attention in blue just below 50 tokens maybe 48 49 tokens per second in the end and the flash attention is beating it out so we're averaging just over 50 tokens per second maybe in the 52 tokens per second range let's go take a look at those averages just to make sure that we're seeing that right yeah so flash attention is 52 and no flash attention was averaging about 50 so not only did it make it perform slightly better, it also drastically reduced the amount of VRAM it was using. And just so that we can compare that, in the end, the no flash attention was just about 14 gigs of VRAM, 13,936. The flash attention was just about 11 gigabytes of VRAM at 10,924 megabytes. The host memory, just to make sure, is very negligible. So the host memory with no flash attention on was 1,213 megabytes. With flash attention on, it was 1,268. So this scales out. Where it comes in very handy is on very large models running very large context sizes. Or even down here where we're running a very small model, you might be able to expand the context size out to 128K and beyond. 
without costing you a ton of VRAM or memory if you're just running CPU inference. Hope you guys learned something from this. If you didn't, that's okay, because that means you know what you were doing. If you did, do me a favor and hit like or subscribe. And remember, buy your AI pizza. Until next time, see you guys later.